Superfood Evolution presents Amla Powder. What are its major beneficial compounds and traditional uses in Ayurvedic herbalism? Amla Powder comes from a type of fruit called Indian gooseberry, also referred to by its Sanskrit name Amalaki. It is valued as a rejuvenating herb in traditional Indian medicine known as Ayurveda and has a long history of use as an ancient herbal Rasayana. The term Amla literally means sour. While fresh fruits can be eaten when ripe, they are known to be quite tart and astringent, not like your typical sweet and juicy variety. They also don't have a long shelf life and are therefore often prepared or dried and powdered for use in herbal formulations but not generally consumed as a fresh fruit. In India, fresh amla is traditionally juiced, pickled, used in chutneys, or preserved by soaking or boiling in salt water, often with turmeric. They are used, for example, in the sweet preserve known as amla maraba. In this video, we will be discussing some of amla powder's main beneficial compounds, as well as its traditional uses in Ayurvedic herbalism. What is Amla? Amla is classified under two species names, Philanthus imblica and Imblica officinalis. Although Amla is often referred to as an Ayurvedic herb, it is actually a type of deciduous tree fruit that is native to tropical Southeast Asia and the Indian subcontinent. Indian gooseberry is also sometimes referred to as Amla berry, but actually averages slightly larger than the size of a ping pong ball. While it is called Indian gooseberry, it is not botanically related to the common gooseberry or Ribes uva crispa, which is a bush-like plant. The two fruits are, however, similar in appearance, but have noticeably different leaves. Philanthus imblica is considered a sacred Hindu tree believed to be protected by the god Vishnu and is ritually worshipped on the Hindu holy day called Amalaki Ekadashi. The trees are largely cultivated for commercial production, with several different popular cultivars. The Pratapgarh district of the Uttar Pradesh region of India is currently one of the largest producers of Amalaki fruit. The terms Amla and Anla are sometimes used interchangeably but are the same species. The Harvesting and Drying Process Amla fruits ripen in the colder seasons and are harvested when they become a light green or dull greenish yellow color. Mature fruits tend to separate into six parts after the drying process. That's why amla does not come as a dried whole fruit, but as broken up clumps or pieces. While the fruits at the beginning stages of ripening are somewhat attractive in color and have a rounded, smooth, waxy appearance with six vertical striped sections, they do not remain this way. After harvesting and drying techniques, they soon start to develop a less attractive gray-brown to yellowish-brown color with a hard, shriveled-up texture. Although amla is occasionally found as a dehydrated or freeze-dried powder, most commercial suppliers use heat to dry the fruits. Quality suppliers, however, will usually maintain lower temperatures to ensure nutrients are preserved. A few quality organic dried amla brands that we contacted told us more specifics about how the fruits are heated before commercially dried. For more information on this, please visit our website link above. Amla powder contains vitamin C and polyphenols. One of the major reputed constituents of amla berry fruit is that it is a source of natural vitamin C. The fresh fruit pulp is estimated in some reports to average about 400 and 900 milligrams per 100 grams. In some research, the vitamin C levels were approximated to account for between 45 to 70 percent of the antioxidant activities. While we were unable to find official scientific documentation on exact amounts for the actual powder, if you've ever tried it mixed into water, its very sour taste does give some indication of this vitamin C potential. The powders are, of course, a more concentrated form in contrast to the fresh fruits. On two Amla powder product labels, vitamin C content was reported to be 
One gram or one third teaspoon equals eight grams of vitamin C or 9% of the daily value. And five grams or one teaspoon equals 70% of the daily value. Supplemental use with omelet powder mixed into water or blended drinks can help to supply one's daily vitamin C requirements and makes a better whole food based option to synthetic ascorbic acid supplements. Other super fruit options to consider may also include highly condensed sources such as camu camu, acerola cherry, rose hips, and kakadu plum. In addition to vitamin C, amla is known to be a source of polyphenols, which have been identified to have strong antioxidant and antimicrobial influence. In some research on amla or amla fruit and powder, total phenolic content was dependent on variety tested. Tannins may help to preserve vitamin C content. Omelet powders are found to be high in polyphenolic astringent compounds called tannins, such as gallic acid, elagic acid, tannic acid, emblicanin A, emblicanin B, pedunculagin, and puny glucanin. The tannin content is in fact believed to prevent the decomposition of the vitamin C and stabilize it after the drying process. In one study testing degradation values on ascorbic acid content on various foods and herbs, amla was the most stable and thought to be a result of the chemical constituents found in the fruit. Likewise, in earlier experiments, both gallic acid and elagic acid were isolated as the tannins partly responsible for its protective action on ascorbic acid. Remember, however, that vitamin C is one of those nutrients sensitive to high heat processing. So it is best in our opinion to purchase quality omelet powders that have not been exposed to high temperatures when dried. In some research, nutrient retention was found to be the best at temperatures around 149 degrees Fahrenheit. Ayurvedic Health Benefits of Amla Powder Amalaki is considered a top herbal Rasayana. Amalaki or Amla is one of the top Rasayana herbs in Ayurveda, noted with others for its higher amount of antioxidant constituents. In Ayurvedic medicine, the term Rasayana literally means the path that Rasa takes, and Rasayana herbs are considered rejuvenating tonics that help to improve the quality of Rasa or primordial tissue. They are believed to help promote physical strength, increase lifespan, revitalize metabolism, boost cognitive function, and enhance immunity from disease. Rasayana therapy, which usually involves a combination of different substances, is typically administered after a period of panchakarma, a cleansing treatment. Many common herbal Rasayana varieties most familiar in Western culture are herbs like ashwagandha, shatavari, Godu Kola, Gugulu, Tulsi, Aloe Vera, as well as Amla Powder. According to an article in the Journal of Ayurveda and Integrative Medicine, Amalaki Rasayana, a traditional Indian preparation including Amalaki, long pepper, ghee, and sweeteners, was studied for its potential ability to facilitate an increase in telomerase activity in elderly individuals. Amla powder is also one of the main ingredients in another traditional Rasayana preparation known as Chabamprash, a formulation used to promote rejuvenation as well as enhance immune functions. Amla contains five tastes and can help increase digestive fire. From an Ayurvedic standpoint, taste is the first part of the digestive process and amla powder is known to help enhance taste perceptions. It has a strong flavor and not necessarily a pleasant tasting one. We liken it to camu camu berry when mixed in the water. Amla fruits contain five of the six tastes, sour, astringent, bitter, pungent, and sweet, all but salty. The initial taste is usually sour, then astringent, bitter, pungent, with a subtly sweet aftertaste, especially after water is consumed. In Ayurveda, optimal digestion is considered to be the foundation of overall health and well-being. Major focus is therefore frequently given to promoting one's digestive fire, or Agni, Jatharagni. 
This is basically the ability to efficiently digest or metabolize the nutrients from the foods we eat. Amalaki powder, with its five tastes, is revered for its potential to improve digestive fire without having a hot quality like other digestive herbs such as ginger, long pepper, or cinnamon. An important aspect when it comes to amla supplementation is to be able to taste it in the mouth. This is believed to activate those aforementioned five tastes and increase the fruit's health-enhancing influence. This is why powders mixed in the liquids are the traditional way to consume it, so it can be tasted. Next to powder, tablets or liquid extracts are the second best way to take it to experience these taste qualities. While amla or amalaki is generally viewed to be a tri-doshic herb, balancing to all body types, vata, pitta, and kapha, it is considered most beneficial to those with pitta predominant constitutions. As a cooling herb, it is likewise helpful for clearing excess heat or pitta from the digestive tract. Supports bowel regularity and promotes cleansing effects. Supplemental use of amla can help to improve bowel regularity and provide for healthy elimination, especially when taken in larger amounts between one half to one teaspoon or more as directed by your healthcare practitioner. Amalaki is in fact one of the three fruits, along with harataki and bibitaki, that make up the popular herbal formulation known as triphala. Triphala can actually be more suitable than straight amalaki, as each of the dried ground fruits that make up the powder collectively work to potentiate the qualities of the other. Triphala is known for its stronger laxative effects and can be more appropriate for alleviating constipation and or intestinal stagnation. Part of Amalaki's cleansing actions come from its nutritive components, such as vitamin C, but also through the detoxification processes that it encourages, such as the elimination of wastes and toxins or ama. How to use. Amla is commonly consumed as a fine powder in water or drinks, but is also available as a liquid extract or in tablet or capsule form for convenience sake. Again, taste is especially significant when using it for digestive purposes. For use as a mild laxative, it can be taken on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. As a nutritive herbal powder, it can be added to blended beverages, smoothies, and of course it goes well with other fruits and superfruit combinations. This is also a good way to camouflage its flavor if it happens to be too strong for personal taste preferences. Other ways to consume amla powder are through herbal formulations such as triphala powder or the jam-like paste called chavimprash. In traditional Indian preparations, powders are used with milk or in medicated ghee. The typical dose amount for amla powder is one quarter to one half teaspoon, taken one to two times a day. Amla powder is known to be nourishing to the hair and scalp and often used with other herbs, like gotu kola in hair oil treatments. It can also be used in homemade face masks as it is beneficial to the skin when consumed or used topically. Precautions. In some situations, it may be necessary to seek the advice of a trained Ayurvedic practitioner who can tailor formulas specific to individual imbalances or health issues. Seek the advice of a healthcare professional before using amla powder if you are pregnant, nursing, taking prescribed medications, or have a serious health condition. Thanks for watching. For additional info, as well as sources of the very best amla we know of, please investigate the links in the description box below this video. Please support us with a thumbs up if you found this video useful. And be sure and check out these other informational videos.